Okay. Now, what I want to understand from you, Emmanuel, is this: What exactly you mean by the by the term "being" in this context? For example, if I told you, we are three people here: you, yeah. me, and this gentleman here. Yeah. So, person one, person A, B, and C. Yeah. Are we three beings or one being? No, no, in the context of the Trinity, oh, the, oh, one, yeah, one in, the, in a similar context, yeah, yeah, one we are one being. Yeah. Okay, when you say one being, yeah. can you define that please? Because okay. we are three persons, we understand that. Okay. I think that's quite straightforward, being yeah? Is like, uh, being is like essence or conscious. Okay, that's so does that mean that we all are human? Is that what you're trying to say? Um, Same yeah. essence means a human essence. Mm, um, human essence, it depends on what you mean by human essence. Well, it means we all are born in flesh. But I mean, con like you're, you're separate from your body. Your conscious is separate from your body. Like your conscious is your existence. No, you said essence, not conscious. So there's a difference between essence and your consciousness. So how, how do you define essence? Exactly. That was my question to you. What do you mean by the term being? So I, I, I mean, I mean, cl well, I'm closely re relating it to conscious more than any other word. So you're saying the term being means conscious. Yeah. How do you define essence? Just so I understand. Okay. Before I define that, okay. let's see if it fits within your understanding. Okay. Do you think a person has essence? Well, a person, a person. person There's a person. You are a person, right? Yeah. Do you have essence? Um, yes. Do you have consciousness? Of course. Okay, so you are a being. Um, yes. Yes? Okay, yes? You are one person and one being. Okay, so yes. in the Trinity, we got three persons. Yeah. Does that mean we have three beings? No, it's because it's, 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 it's the way you're defining person. Because person is the I didn't define person. I know. That's yes. why. That's I'm why using the, the term person because the, the you use it in your creed. Yeah. Okay, the hypostasis. Yeah. Which means the person. A, 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 a person has a being, but notice here how it separates the person from the being. So you'd have to. So it has everything a person has except the being part. And plus, you need to also define what you mean by person because the father is known as a person. So you're not talking about a human being as a person. No, no, I'm not talking about human being. I'm saying the term being, according yeah. to you, means someone who has conscious. Yeah. Consciousness, yes? Yeah, of course. Does a person have consciousness? Yeah, a person. So a person, a person is a being, right? A person. Is Based a on your being. definition, a person. Is a being. Sorry, when, when you're saying person, you're not talking about human being, you're just talking about the general word person. No, no, I'm talking about person yeah. in the sense you're using person. You know when I define to you, yeah. you are one person, yeah. I'm one person, he's one person. Yeah. So we are three persons, yeah. and then I ask you a question, how many beings are we? Okay. You said one being. Okay. A person has consciousness, Good. but it's not the same as a being. Be a being would be consciousness itself, basically. That's the closest term to it. A, a being is consciousness itself. Yes. That's so nice. you're saying your consciousness is your being. Yes, that's how I'm understanding. So you're one person with one being. Okay, I am. It one doesn't mean make sense, hold bro. Hold on, hold on. I am one person with one being, because you have one consciousness. I, 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 am, I am one person, but you're not you're not defining person, so we're getting confused. No, we are defining being. Yeah, we're defining being, but you, you, you're adding. Okay, okay, I see what you mean. So because according to you, yeah. a being is consciousness. Yeah. Not not the person. Am I right? Yeah. Okay, so because you have consciousness, yeah. you're one person with one being. Yeah, I, I'm a being in that sense, yeah. No, not that you're a being, yeah. you have a being because you're saying consciousness is your being. Wait, wait, I, I have a being. Okay, let's define consciousness, sorry, being again. Let's define it based on what you understand by yeah. the term being yeah. in the creed. Three persons, one being. Please cool. define the term being within the creed, okay, so the context of the creed. Okay. I don't know the specifics, but from what, from what I understand is uh, a being would be the, con the consciousness of, of um, basically a substance, basically. So... Not the essence. That's why I said define essence. How are you defining essence? Because I might have a... Essence is your nature. That's what a essence is. Okay, sorry. So on. your nature, like for example, you are a human okay, nature. Okay, that is your yeah, nature. Right, your right. essence is of a human yeah, being. No, it's, That's why you're called a human being. Okay, so... So okay. your nature is human yeah. and you are a being. Hence, you are a human being because your nature is that of a human. Okay, now, agree. within the creed, you have, like I said, you, you're also so, one person, by the way. Right. You're, you, you're not more than one person. Okay. Even though your nature is that of a human, and you might have other natures like good nature, bad nature, kind nature, generous nature, bad nature, whatever it is. You can have several natures, yes, but all that is within you as one person. Um, yeah, no, I, I, no okay, I, I'm going to go with the full... 
full experiment for now because it makes sense. Sorry, you're uh, going to build? I'm going to go with the full experiment for now because I'm just trying to understand. Yes, so, please. yeah, a, a being here yeah, can include essence and it includes basically the actual consciousness. I do agree. I don't think consciousness comes into this as, unless you're talking as a human consciousness. Yeah, as in. Yeah, uh, because or consciousness that's as fine. Okay. As in existence. Because you see, your entire essence, your entire nature, essence, yeah, is yeah. that of a human. Yeah, yeah, I, I agree. You see what I mean? Yeah, yeah, I agree. So your nature, yeah. you might have soul, you might have uh, mind, you might have all these things. Yeah. Yes, all that is part of your nature. Okay. But it is because you are a human being, and you are one person. All that encapsulates within you as one, yeah, 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 I, one I, entity. Okay, I agree. Yeah. Now imagine you are one person, yeah. and your being is that of a human. Okay, your essence is that of a human. Okay. Are we on the same page now with, Just with the yet. term person yeah. and with the term being? Yeah. Okay, now once again, with that understanding, okay. I'll ask you the question again. Okay. We are three persons here. One, two, and three. Yeah. How many beings are we? Uh, if you're just saying us three, there'll be three. There'll be, there'll be three beings. Three beings. And yeah. how many persons? Uh, three. Three persons and three beings. Yeah. Okay, now using that same terminology, yeah. the same definition, yeah. Apply that to the creed now. Okay. The difference is... The Trinity, the creed okay. of the Trinity. The difference is it, it, there, there's a separation. Because once again, you'd have to define um, a person. Okay, define okay. a person, go okay. on. In the, in the context of the tri yeah, yeah, just creed, I, define a person, go just on. Before I get, just before I get there, yeah. um, the separation from a person and a being is there is one being, as in nature, because you did say a nature in essence, one being, divine, nature and three persons as in person as in uh, personality role and which is a distinction and um, substance as in a separate um, separate body so by the way persons. substance should come on the essence oh yeah I think, I think it come under both of them. Um, no, you're getting it confused now so in the in the in the context of the creed okay, define wait, wait, the term okay, person okay, and okay, define the term okay, being substance is not too much of a problem even if I got rid of it I'll use the word body that's the best understanding of a uh, Remember, you're, you're talking about you're talking about the Trinity Creed. So when okay. you bring in the term body, yeah. you need to explain what you mean by that. I mean, I mean body in the sense of. Does the Holy Spirit it, have a body? It, it depends on what you mean by body. I'm not talking about. That's what I'm saying. Be okay. careful what you use. Yeah, the terms you use. It's not it's not a literal sense as in a, a body like me and you. It, it's just it's just a separation. That's what I mean. Separation. It, why don't you just call it essence? No, because. Because that's what the creed uses. Okay, I don't know if they use it. I have to double check if they use that. But um, I, I use the word body because it's, it's to show separation. So there's three separations of, of a person that have distinct personality roles that are separate from each other. That's that's a person, and a being is different. They share the same being, but different. Uh, but they have different persons. That's okay, define that. being in that context. Then. When you say they have the same yeah, being, nature. define that. Nature. And so when you say nature, you mean they all are divine. Yeah. Just like we all, we three are human, yeah. and we have. But you said we are, we are three different beings. You didn't say we are one being, did you? Um, Even though we all are human, we share the same nature. Okay, okay, okay. You see what uh, I mean? Yeah, yeah, because before earlier I, I did say consciousness, then I said nature afterwards. Yeah. So yeah, I could say if you're going to go by that understanding, yeah, we, same, we share the same nature as in essence. Okay, so, we are, so now switching back to the yeah, human. But, but, but hold on. So We are three persons, but how many beings? Wait, hold on, hold on. No, no, you need to answer that question. We are three persons, yeah. we are three humans here, yeah. three persons, mm -hmm. how many beings are we? Um, in, in essence... You defined being already. Yeah, in, 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 that, in essence we would be, we'd have the same essence. Yeah. How many beings are we? So there would be one. One being. Yeah. So we are one being, yeah. three persons. Yeah. Okay, so what does that tell you about the Trinity? I'm going to get to that part. That's Please what, do, yes. So I, I need to understand, how do you... He said one being, we are one being. He's basically he's trying to say we all are human beings. So three persons, but we all are human, I, I, I wanna, so we are one being. Okay, I want to I get... Because wanna, to me... Yeah, let, let him finish, let him finish. Okay, yeah, go on. So... Yeah. Do you, you want to get involved? No, no, that's fine. Let's keep it okay. one, so, one so inshallah. I was saying, how do you define being? To, I've already told you several times. To me, a yeah. being is basically what defines the nature. So for example, I am a human being, yeah. you are a human being. I'm still one person, you're still one person. But I can also say that a person is also a being. So you are a being. You cannot say you're not a being. You are a being. I am also a being. But our nature as yeah. a human being, as a species, 
yes, of the Homo sapiens, we are one species, if that's what you're trying to say. So unless you're saying God is like three persons, like, you know, the best example, wait, wait, the best example I can give you is that of a team. So you might have, say, for example, in uh, football, yeah. you might have 11 players. They all are human beings. Yes. Okay. If I asked you how many beings are there in a football team, what are you going to say? Okay, no, 11 no. beings or one being? There's um, one being. Okay, so basically you have one team, yeah. one being yeah. in your context. Yeah, because okay. to yeah. me, a person and a being to, are identical. Okay, okay. Even though they might have a human nature, okay, still uh, within that one person. So basically what you're trying to tell me by defining yeah. that with regards to the creed is that God is three persons. Each one is distinct. Yeah. Like you said, they have different roles. Yes. But they are one being in the sense, just like the football team is one being, yeah. God is a one being. Okay. So you're trying to tell me that God is like a family, one one unit, but three persons. Okay, I, I, can, see, I can see the problem. I think the being is... The problem the, in the creed or...? No, I, no I, I see the problem. I, I think... Okay. Because that's how we define being, bro. Okay. That's how we define it. You call it one nature. And that's what you mean by the oneness. No, no, because when, when I see when I when I've seen being on, on, on the definition of the word, it, it shows existence. Just to be, like it's just there as an existence. Look so, at the second so, mean there's more than one meaning of okay. of being in okay. the dictionary. Okay. One of them is existence, yeah. the other is nature. Nature, okay. So there, if there's two I, I, I have to double check. But um, no no. It, even even by nature, they all share this, the same divine nature. So but there's still one so so if it means existence and nature, then they both work together. As in, three of them share the same nature, but um, they they share the same existence. As in yes, consciousness. Just, just like a team of football. As in consciousness. Yeah. Oh, uh, so you're saying there's one consciousness between the three persons? Yeah. Then that's not one person, then. Sorry, that is only one person, not three persons. Why is there only one person? Because a person is defined by his own consciousness. Wait, a person. A person has his own consciousness. Of course, yeah. Yeah. You see what I mean? No, 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 yeah, but... but so so I'm, even even I'm, if you're talking about I'm, I'm, three persons, yeah. then you're talking about each person having their own consciousness, no, 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 their I'm, own will. They do, actually, according to the creed, they don't have their own wills. Oh, yeah, yeah, no, so no, the no, will no, of no, Jesus no. is not that the will of the Father. Yeah, of course. But you see what I mean? But they, so they how will, can you say they have the same consciousness? Their wills are together, like their wills don't contradict each other. They do. Do they? Yes. Okay. Because the Father wills for the Son to die on the cross, but the Son at the end, right. when, the, when it comes time for the... Well, the human nature, yeah. and he also had the divine nature at of that course, time. Yeah. So how do you know which, div which nature was communicating? So throughout the whole time, he was going through his human nature. So every time he did a miracle, it was a human nature? Well, the miracle was given by the Father through the Holy Spirit. That's why I was able to do things. Yeah. Unless so, you understand it from... So all the miracles of his was done through, the, through God, through him? Yeah, of course. Okay, so it wasn't the divine nature it's within... The fact, he, he, it's the fact that he said he was God, and understanding that he was God, that he was God. So how are they one then? If everything about them is different... It's because he has a human nature. That yeah, okay, so they are different roles. Yeah. They are, in fact, they even had different natures. No. The father did not have the same nature as Jesus. Why didn't they have the same nature as Jesus? Did the father have a human nature? Did the father, of course not. So it's a different nature no, then? No, no, you, 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 no function. No, no, I'm talking about nature. Yeah, I know you're talking about nature. Yeah, does the father have the same nature as, a, as, as yeah, Jesus course, Christ? They both have the same divine nature. But do they have the same human nature? Of course not. So yeah. there is a difference in nature. One has... A dual nature, i.e. the Son, the second person of the Trinity, post-incarnation. Right, listen, well, listen, it's very important. I know you're thinking of the next question, but it's important you listen to this. Post-incarnation, yeah. the nature of Jesus Christ yeah. is a dual nature. Okay. Okay? Post-incarnation, the Father had one so nature. Wait, wait. Pre-incarnation and post-incarnation, the Father has always had one nature, the divine nature. Yeah. Post-incarnation and pre-incarnation, the Holy Spirit always had one nature. And the last yes? one, Jesus has two. Yeah, divine nature. Yeah. So, is that a difference between one nature and dual nature? Or no, is it the same? No, no, no. It's, um, it's function. No, yeah. no, no. It's nature. No. Human nature. I, I, not human function. I'm, I'm not, human I, 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 nature. The I'm, word became flesh, remember? I'm not denying that. Human nature. So, how many natures does the second person of the Trinity have? Nature. How many natures does the Holy Spirit have? They, have both, they both have one, the Father and the Holy Spirit. Yeah. So, do you not see a difference in nature? I see a difference in, yeah, difference in the number of natures, yeah, that's true. Wh which is difference in nature? No, no. Okay, okay. I'll no, tell you no, what. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> no, I, I get that. Different in nature. I, I, I understand what you mean as in different in nature, but... So they are not co-substantial post-incarnation? But it's overall function. No, no, we are not talking about function at all. 
we are talking about the essence here. The essence has changed false incarnation for the second person of the Trinity. Are you acknowledging that or not? Yeah, no, I'm acknowledging that. Yeah. Has the essence of the Father changed? At has, all? Has the essence of the Father changed? At all? No, it hasn't changed. Has the essence of the Holy Spirit changed at all? No, I, I, has, <laughs> has, yeah, you should actually. <laughs> has the essence of the Son changed post incarnation? No. It has. He became a well, human. Yeah, 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 human, yeah. Okay. But so, do you not see a change in the being, in the essence, in the nature? Do you not see a change? He has an additional one. Exactly. That's when you add something, yeah, that's which means it's changed. Yeah. When you take away something, it means yeah. it has changed. Right. When you modify something, it has changed. Right. So in the, in, the, in the case of the second person of the Trinity, right. something has been added which right. wasn't there previously. So you're saying, you're saying that's a change? Yeah, I say it's a different essence. Now you got dual essence, dual nature. Right. Okay? So, overall, so the being... So overall, are you saying that's a change? Is that what you're of course, overall. Because in the Godhead, right. now you have an additional nature called the human nature okay. post incarnation are you with me yeah so you see god doesn't change but in your case in christianity he has changed no 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 he, he became change. from a he divine change. only to a divine yeah, and human he, he doesn't change in divine nature no no he, he became divine and human now yeah i know but that's what it means by change he doesn't change in his divine nature he always exists as he always is that's you remember what he just said a minute ago what? it has been added yeah, yeah, of course. When I add something to an existing nature... But it's talking about his divine nature, not... No, no, hear me out. When I add something to yeah. an existing nature, yeah. or I take away from something in an existing nature, yeah. or I modify the existing nature, it has changed, no yeah, doubt yeah, about it. What nature has been changed? No nature has been changed. Yeah, it has. One, it has. There's, there's been an add-on to the, to the sun, but none of his natures were changed. Okay, so the sun is only divine and not human at all. No, no. He, he's also human, but there's no nature that's been changed. What nature's been changed? Yeah, because from from a single nature, yeah. now you have a dual nature. Of course, but the, no nature's been changed. It has. But if you have two natures, what part of the nature's been changed? What part? Yeah. The part that did not exist before. Jesus as a person has an additional nature. I'm not look, saying, look, look I'm not saying his divine nature has changed, yeah. but I'm saying that once you add to the divine nature, right. an addition, yeah. In in the, hold on, hold on. In the personhood of Jesus, yeah. is he now co-substantial to that of the Father and the Holy Spirit? You yeah. know what co-substantial he's, means, yeah? yeah. He's, he's, is it the same substance now? He's different. Exactly my point. That's not nature though, but that's function. That's function? function. Yeah. So function. you think the hypostatic union is a functional change? No, no because... Make up your mind. Well, because actually, yes, in a sense. I can, I can so say. you're now differentiating the function and the nature? Yes, because function um, explains nature and, and, and basically the action of what they do, basically. Okay, what is what is the human nature's function? The human's um, to be the human nature. Itself. For how long? Um, through when it lives until it dies, isn't it? And then, um, well, so what is what is from Jesus Christ? He yeah. does live on forever with the, um, with, um, with the okay. human nature. Okay, so now, yeah. how many natures does Jesus have? He has two natures. How many natures does the Father have? He has one. Uh, the Holy Spirit has one. I'm not denying that. Okay, so do you see the difference between a dual nature and a single nature? Yeah, they have differences Okay, in so they are not co-substantial. Do you agree? Like, what do you mean? You know what co-substantial means? This is one of the things in the creed. They are co-equal, co-eternal, and co-substantial. Well, co-equal, yeah. co-eternal, yeah. and co-substantial. Okay. Co-substantial means they are made of the same substance. They are made of the same substance if he's only in divine form, of course. Yeah, if. Yeah. But that's not the case, right? Wait. Post incarnation, the son has two. Wait, hold on. wait, yeah. wait, two substances in him. Okay. What are the two substances? Divine and human. Right. So it's not co substantial anymore. It's not co substantial with the Father and the Holy Spirit. Well, they're co substantial in the sense of divi divinity. Yeah, but you don't believe they're only hold divine. On, hold on, Jesus hold on. is only yeah, no, divine. No, no. You believe he's also, he also human. Has, he also exactly. Has, so why do you keep saying. Hold on, hold on, because they would. I agree. They would be different in that sense, but they would be the same in the first sense. Okay, so they are first. So in the sense of they all share divinity. divinity yeah. Sorry, not share. They all have divi divine nature. Yeah, yeah, I agree. Yeah. You believe that that they all have divine nature. But I'm talking about. This, this, yeah. Look, I'm talking about the difference which which you don't want to acknowledge for some reason. No, no, no. I agree that they, they are different because the well, sun. They are different in what? The, the, um, in, in, in actual function. Basically. No, in the nature. No, nature. Function. Okay, so humanity of Jesus 
It's not his nature, it's only his function. Is that what he's saying? Hold on, hold on. They all have functions, regardless of... Function is like the foundational point. It's, it, it, it explains 